Victoria and I am the singer of the metal band called Elvis. We are a French symphonic metal band formed for three years right now and we are composed of four musicians. We have Silver, who is the composer and the guitar player. We have Florian, who is the bass player. We have Clément, who is the drummer. And me, to be the singer and the lyric writer. Edvus means something in German language. So it took place in Silver's mind a few years ago and we keep the name because it is short, it is easy to remind and uh, for someone who doesn't speak German, it sounds good, so we keep the name. We have the name is the long time project that we have released together. It is the very first project that we have together and it took years for us to release this EP because it took time to write it, to compose it, to write the lyrics, to find the melodies, to find the perfect instruments on the, on the samples. And we wanted to be as close as possible at the ambient uh, we wanted to, to translate in music. So the lyrics uh, dealing with the battle, the endless battle between man and nature. The man who is greedy and always dissatisfied and the nature which is hurt about, uh, by man and uh, that want to have uh, its revenge on humanity. So the album cover has been completely designed by Silver and um, he wanted to be influenced by dark forest, by dark ambient with a blue grey green shades uh, that remind the forests and autumn twilight and dusk. So this cover inspired me a lot for writing the lyrics. And this dark forest and this woman uh, very far on the undercover um, made me want to 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 find the lyrics uh, on this thing. It is important to have a level idea for band which does don't want to to have to make others to have to make publicities so it is okay for bands who always want, who only wants to to make music and not taking care about the rest. So level deals uh, are made by professionals, so they absolutely know what they do. But for us, we didn't want to have a level deal because we want to be as free as possible for our music, for the video clips, for the adverts, uh, for everything we make in the band. Uh, we want to be free, we don't want to have any restriction, so for, we, didn't, we don't want for now to have a level deal. If Behind the Veil is influenced by classical symphonic bands, uh, which everyone has listened, we discover some new bands that really impressed us and uh, influenced us uh, for what we are planned to make. So we discover a Russian symphony black metal band which is called the Black Thorn and it is completely composed by women and it's really, really awesome. They are really stunning. So. It is a very, very good band that we like to listen. We have also discovered the band which is called Kara Kengren, that is a Dutch symphonic black metal band, uh, which is horrific, terrifying. It is very good at telling tales, gothic tales, and it's very brutal and it's very inspiring. We also discovered um, uh, Austrian metal band which is called um, Candles and Raves. 
and its album called Candelabria is very, very, very good that we, we listen it uh, a lot because it's really, really good. And uh, we also discover another band, another Russian band, uh, which is called Little Dead Berta, and uh, it is the perfect uh, mixing between growl voices and lyrical voices. So these four bands uh, that we have discovered these few months uh, has, have really impressed us because it is very, very, very good job. With this crisis, we are not allowed anymore to perform outside, so for sure it will affect the military scene and the music scene in general. So there will be less concerts, there will be less manifestations of music, but if bands want to keep uh, performing, if they want to keep to be alive, they have to find another way to present uh, their work. And it is uh, on the internet that we have to present our work. So um, right now, people who are around the world, wherever they are, whenever they are, um, they can be listening to music presenting by, uh, by the metal bands. So we can, as the artists, uh, we can do, we can film a concert, we can film uh, a real song, and that can be watched by everybody all around the world, uh, wherever they want. It is a different sort of sharing music and sharing um, energies, vibes, and uh, passion that we can have in a physical concert. It is different, but we think it is. For now, the, the most important thing is to, to keep uh, music. For metal bands, it will take time to, to find a place that can accept the music of, of metal music. Uh, because in pubs or in restaurants, but it's not really restaurants, in pubs, um, they rather like to have acoustic concerts, not uh, something brutal like metal music. So, if we want to perform, we have to find a place that can be uh, welcoming uh, this kind of music, that can be welcoming a, a, a big drum session, um, symphonic samples. So, it will take time, it's, it's less concerts, but with better quality. So, we have several projects to come, uh, especially for now, we are currently composing our next album, uh, which will be very, very darker than our EP Behind the Veil, and uh, we have working on it, on it right now. We have composed some songs and we want to propose you some more songs than on the hippie. So it will be longer, it will be darker, it will, it will be uh, more mature. So if you want to follow us, we are very active on social medias as Instagram or Facebook and it is, um, it is where we are talking about what we do. So if you want to, to stay tuned about what we do, don't hesitate to follow. And we are planning also a photo shoot and we are searching for some places that can be corresponding to, to the ambience we want to show you for the next album. And finally, we want to thank Antichrist magazine for letting us speak to you right now and today and to present a uh, metal band that is called Atlas. Hey, hey.